Hey everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In the last episode, we managed to escape from the Imperial Capital Vector aboard the Blackjack, and have now returned to Zozo with the Magicite remains of the Aspers that were contained in the Magitech Research Facility. So hopefully one of them will be able to uh, shed some light on Terra's condition and uh, help us uh, help her come to terms with her uh, current state of affairs. So we're all here. So we got Locke at the head of the party here. Terra! <laughs> what the? <laughs> Setzer, this is the first time Setzer is seeing uh, Magicite in action. Magicite! So it's uh, reacting with Terra. Terra's glowing and uh, let's just put that away. Father? Wait, what? I remember it all. I was raised in the Asper's world. Huh. Well, that's an interesting... Uh, well, I guess we kind of saw that coming a little bit, but... Now it's time for story time! Gather round, children. We're having a flashback. How Terra's remembering this, I don't know, but I believe uh, the Magicite is kind of transferring these uh, memories to her. I don't know, Aspers are kind of uh, weird. But anyway, we are now in control of Madun. Maduin, one of the Aspers we acquired in the Magitech Research Facility. You might have recognized this guy uh, floating in one of the tubes. Anyway, we're in the Asper world, so we can wander around as him. So, uh, we got this one guy here. Uh, ooh, something's coming through the gate. But uh, I don't feel like looking at that just yet. Let's let's explore the Asper world. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of relax today. We're not gonna do a whole lot of... Uh, serious progression. We were doing this flashback stuff. We're learning about Terra's origins, but other than that, we're just kind of like checking things out. So uh, yeah, we got dragons here, and so we know the guy's name is Madun, or Madun, however it's pronounced. Yeah, there's nothing in here. There are no items to collect from any pots or barrels or whatnot. So let's just get our bearings. Let's see what's around here. We got another cave over this way. Uh, we got wolf people, kind of like uh, Lone Wolf. And we got some strong winds blowing. Is it the Black Wind? No, that's 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 a different game. We'll get to that one sooner or later, in due time. And Madun's the gatekeeper. Okay. And there's nothing else over that way. So I'm not sure exactly how Terra's remembering this, because this is technically before her time. And we got this weird looking guy, he's the Elder. This evening is an ill omen, he says. That's a uh, ca cause for concern. All right, well that's about everything we could check out here in the uh, Asper world. It's a pretty, a pretty sparse place. Just big enough for the guys to live in, I guess. But we go over here to this gate and oh hey, there's a, there's a lady here just kind of laying there. Listen well and think clearly. What will we? What will we? What will we do? Let's. We may as well uh, return together. We can't. It doesn't do any good to just leave her there. So we're gonna take her back to the elder's house. So she's just kind of laying in bed there. We got this little fairy person here. She's pretty weak. Better let her rest for a moment. Okay. So let's talk to everybody else then. Did I hear there was a human here? Probably wandered in here by mistake. So uh, I don't know how that happens, but seems plausible enough. You'd better do away with it. Humans and Aspers are incompatible. Yeah, I guess. Uh, you know, if history is uh, any indicator, yeah, that seems to be the uh, right choice. But let's go and uh, talk to her. I think you can leave the house and talk to the Aspers again, but I think a lot of them just kind of repeat the same things. Let's talk to the lady. Did I awaken you? So we got this girl here. You're an Asper? What's that pendant for? So she's kind of looking at her. It's yours now. It helps protect the Asper world. Well, that's uh, very generous and suddenly forthcoming. Asper world? Boy, did I take the low road or what? The Asper folk are pretty upset. You being a human and all. You the one who saved me? 
I am a dune. I'm tired living in the human world. Well, yeah, it's kind of uh, not good for Aspers. That world is filled with desire, greed, and loathing. It's highly infectious. Are humans and Aspers truly so different? So, I'm an example of the evil in this world, huh? No, I mean... I'll return to my world tomorrow, and the lady's name is Madonna, even though she didn't uh, introduce herself. I would reference one of those songs, but I don't want to get sued. So, uh, you'll need a guide. And the elder's kind of eavesdropping, and uh, he doesn't seem to like how this is turning out. So, okay, we're back in bed with Madun. So let's head on out. And we got the elder here. Everything all right? What? The human's gone? Wait, I thought we left her at your house. Why are you coming here to tell me that? Okay, people, what do you guys have to say? A human girl made it all the way to the gate. Guess we should go that way, but I want to talk to the wolf guy first. Wolf guy. If this generation of humans knew about our abilities and decided they wanted to utilize our powers, it would be a total disaster. Now, nah, don't you worry too much, man. That's not gonna happen. Anyway, I don't think there's anything over here. This other house here. We got the dragon guys where we left them last time. Do you even know what you've done? Um, no. I uh, helped a lady in distress. Is that so bad? We got a person over here uh, as soon as I figure out how to cross a bridge. Why has this happened now after all these years? I don't know. If you guys gave me some proper insight, I might be able to answer your questions. But everything's kind of vague right now. Let's see, I don't know if there's anybody still in the Elder's house or not, but I can go ahead and check. Okay, yep, we got a couple people here. Oh, this isn't even the el Elder's house. And the link between worlds has surely weakened over the past 1,000 years. Yeah, that's kind of a long time to keep a seal going. Anyway, okay, we do have someone here. Uh, he says the same thing as before. The fairy person will probably say the same thing. Or Alright, she made it all the way to the gate. Okay, okay, heading to the gate, heading to the gate. You guys made your point. To the gate on the double or on the fly they like to say that in this translation and we got this guy here this young guy I'm sure you know despite the fact he has a unique unique sprite I'm sure he's not that important what's wrong my doing so get out of my way I'm busy so let's head over this there's Madonna if you don't want to return to your world you may stay here but humans and aspers can never coexist. How do we know for sure unless we observe for ourselves? Okay. Ooh, what's going on here? How do we know? Unless we... Ooh, what's going on here? Observe for ourselves? Is this going where I think it's going? Okay, yeah, it's going. So, you see, uh, yeah, when a, when a male Asper really, really loves a woman, this happens. We've given her a name. What? It's Tara. Not bad, huh? So, that's Tara. Her hair color's different. That was very, very quick. But now, two years have passed. And, whoa. Humans, the nexus between our worlds has opened again. The wind, so odd, just like two years ago. Oh crap. But something's different now. Troops have come seeking our magical power. And for some reason, we're not fighting back. Ooh. They made it as far as the Elder's house. I would make a comment about that one guy getting captured, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pass on that because it may be considered spoilerish. Aha! We finally found it. Those ancient writings told us of this world and described the awesome magical properties of these beasts. 
Grab them! Riches to any man who captures an Esper. Go! So Emperor Gestal is waging war on the Esper world. So Terra's alright, that's that's a relief. And she doesn't say anything. Two years have passed and she hasn't even learned how to say Dada yet. Maduin, you should feel disappointed. So we can talk to these guys here. The humans will arrive soon. Don't worry, I know level 2 fire spells. I can take them out. We've no choice. We must do what we've been avoiding. You mean, the magic barrier? Here's the plan. We'll cause a tempest that'll sweep all the nasty creatures out of our realm. Then we'll seal the gate. I am the last of our kind able to cast this magical seal. Okay. But in your state, you might just... Uh, great, we're gonna, we got another Tella on our hands. Pass away, but at least we'll, we'll, we will finally be safe. Madonna! I, for one, will not miss the other side. Alright, well, it's unanimous then. I guess we're gonna be closing a gate. I don't know why we didn't do that in the first place. But let's do it! We have no other choice. Well, I guess he didn't want to die. That would probably explain it, but... Alright, there goes the Elder. So, uh... Let's go and uh, talk to, uh... Yeah, Terra's still alright. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to the fairy person down here. This is all because of that human girl. What? Nonsense! I'm sure she helped the others find us. Hey, come on, man. That's not cool. Get a grip on yourself. No! She's one of them! Soon she'll be wearing our hide! And there she goes. Ugh. Madonna, what have you done? And, and you took Terra too! We gotta go! Okay, now, now he seems to it. Yep, we gotta go to the gate again. To the gate! On the double! On the fly! Marty McFly! Nah. Well, let's get going. There's the Elder. Where are you going? Dwoll! What? What? Madonna's getting drawn into the next world. Impossible. It's too late. I've already begun casting the barrier. There's no turning back. That fool. I love her, but she's a fool. Hey, look what popped out. The diasporas are coming to us now, and... Wait, what's this sound? Ah! Whoa! Shriek! Or shriek! Just when we were on in reach of a veritable bonanza. Okay. Interesting vocabulary you have, Emperor. See ya. Alright, let's go up there. Oh, Madonna's here, alright. Madoon, I'm not I'm not their friend. I understand that. Thank you. Can you make it back here? Sure. Oh no, Terra! Terra, no! And there goes Madonna, and Madoon goes out as well. As the gate is closing. So everyone's kind of sprawled out there, and the Emperor is, uh, rising. A human girl? Who is she? And we've got, a uh, a baby. I guess, uh, Madonna must have been, uh, mortal- Wait, no, never mind. Hang on a sec. Please, take care of my baby. Your girl? Eh? Hmm. Then she's half human and half. Oh, absolutely fascinating. <laughs> she will help us realize our dream faster than we ever imagined. No, no! Quiet, my dear. And... She is dead. You will own this world. <laughs> and that story did not end well. So that is how Terra became, uh, well, that's how Terra came to be, first of all. And how she wound up in the Empire's custody. She's pretty much been raised there the whole life. Why they needed a slave crown on her to control her when they could have done what they did with Celeste and just kind of like raise her to be a Magitek Knight. But maybe they exposed her to experiments or something. But Terra's back to normal now. That was my father? Yeah, this is the uh, the Magicite of Madun. He's one of our summons now. 
teaches us level 2 magic spells, so that's cool. I'm the product of an Asper and a human. That's where I got my powers. Now I understand. I finally feel I can begin to control this power of mine. Alright, Terra's got her memory back. She's got uh, new powers at her disposal that we'll get into later. So Gestalt must have known the secret of the Asper's power back then. And those Aspers at the facility were grabbed during that expedition. That means Celeste's power came at the expense of an Asper. Yeah, we already established that. They can't get away with this. We have to strike back. What's happening in Narsh? Oh yeah, we kind of all left them on their own for a while. Hmm, maybe we should head back that way. So yep, we got a destination in mind now. And the airship's ready. So now that we have Setzer in the party, we got the black Blackjack. We can fly wherever we want in the whole world. So come on! And now, back to the airship. Where we're getting... We are getting a brief tutorial on how to fly the airship. You use the control pad and the L, D, L and R buttons to uh, for direction. Up and down is... Uh, well, left and right is for directions. Up and down adjusts the altitude, which is really not important at all. The A button moves forward. The X button kind of lets us go on deck so we can change up our party. Our entire party is now inside the airship, so we can switch our members anytime we're on the airship, which is really nice. Definitely beats going back to Narsh or Zozo or wherever to uh, change our party. We can also purchase items from the shop guys down below. Your B button lets us land, A button's for lifting off when you're on the map. Yep, and we're set. Okay, sure, we got a special technique, why not? If we press the star button, we can view the world map. We could have done that while just walking around, but... And if we hold the Y button down and use the control pad, we can move in any direction. Basically, like, you can parallel park if you want, or whatever. And the L and R buttons with the control pad can be used to or high speed turns, which again is not really useful in any way, but it can be fun if you're just messing around. So alright, where should we go next? Will we head to Narsh? Or should we go and do some side quest things first? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.